In mathematics, Puizu series are a generalization of power series. First introduced by Isaac Newton in 1676 and rediscovered by Victor Puizu in 1850. That allows for negative and fractional exponents of the indeterminate t. A Puizu series in the indeterminate t is a Laurent series in t1, n, where n is a positive integer. A Puizu series may be written as where k is an integer and n is a positive integer. Puizu's theorem, sometimes also called Newton Puizu theorem, asserts that, given the polynomial equation, its solutions in y, viewed as functions of x, may be expanded as Puizu series that are convergent in some neighborhood of the origin. In other words, every branch of an algebraic curve may be locally described by a Puizu series. The set of Puizu series over an algebraically closed field of characteristic zero is itself an algebraically closed field, called the field of Puizu series. It is the algebraic closure of the field of Laurent series. This statement is also referred to as Puizu's theorem, being an expression of the original Puizu theorem in modern abstract language. Field of Puizu series if k is a field then we can define the field of Puizu series with coefficients in k and formally as the set of formal expressions of the form where n and a are non-zero natural number and an integer respectively. In other words, Puizu series differ from formal Laurent series in that they allow for fractional exponents of the indeterminate as long as these fractional exponents have bounded denominator. And just as Laurent series, Puizu series allow for negative exponents of the indeterminate as long as these negative exponents are bounded. Addition and multiplication are as expected. One might define them by first upgrading the denominator of the exponents to some common denominator and then performing the operation in the corresponding field of formal Laurent series. In other words, the field of Puizu series with coefficients in K is the union of the fields, where each element of the union is a field of formal Laurent series over, and where each such field is considered as a subfield of the ones with larger and by rewriting the fractional exponents to use a larger denominator. This yields a formal definition of the field of Puizu series. It is the direct limit of the direct system, indexed over the non-zero natural numbers n ordered by divisibility, whose objects are all, with a morphism being given, whenever m divides n, by, valuation and order the Puizu series over a field k form a valued field with value group. The valuation of a series as above is defined to be the smallest rational such that the coefficient of the term with exponent is non-zero. The coefficient in question is typically called the valuation coefficient of f. This valuation in turn defines a distance, hence a topology on the field of Puizu series by letting the distance from f to zero be. This justifies a posterior either notation as the series in question does, indeed, converge to f in the Puizu series field. If the base field k is ordered, then the field of Puizu series over k is also naturally ordered as follows. A non-zero Puizu series f with zero is declared positive whenever its valuation coefficient is so. Essentially, this means that any positive rational power of the indeterminate t is made positive, but smaller than any positive element in the base field k. If the base field k is endowed with a valuation w, then we can construct a different valuation on the field of Puizu series over k by letting the valuation of b where is the previously defined valuation and omega is infinitely large. Essentially, this means that the previously defined valuation v is corrected by an infinitesimal amount to take into account the valuation w given on the base field. Algebraic closeness of Puizu series One essential property of Puizu series is expressed by the following theorem, attributed to Puizu but which was implicit in Newton's use of the Newton polygon as early as 1671 and therefore known either as Puizu's theorem, or as the Newton-Puizu theorem. 
theorem. If K is an algebraically closed field of characteristic zero, then the field of Puizu series over K is the algebraic closure of the field of formal Laurent series over K. Very roughly, the proof proceeds essentially by inspecting the Newton polygon of the equation and extracting the coefficients one by one using evaluative form of Newton's method. Provided algebraic equations can be solved algorithmically in the base field K, then the coefficients of the Puizu series solutions can be computed to any given order. For example, the equation has solutions and this is valid whenever the base field K has characteristic different from 2, as the powers of 2 in the denominators of the coefficients of the previous example might lead one to believe. The statement of the theorem is not true in positive characteristic. The example of the artin schreier equation shows this. Reasoning with valuations shows that x should have valuation, and if we rewrite it as then and one shows similarly that should have valuation, and proceeding in that way one obtains the series since this series makes no sense as a Puizu series because the exponents have unbounded denominators, the original equation has no solution. However, such Eisenstein equations are essentially the only ones not to have a solution, because, if k is algebraically closed if characteristic p greater than zero, then the field of Puizu series over k is the perfect closure of the maximal, tamely ramified extension of, similarly to the case of algebraic closure, there is an analogous theorem for real closure. If k is a real closed field, then the field of Puizu series over K is the real closure of the field of formal Laurent series over K. There is also an analogous result for p-adic closure. If K is a p-adically closed field with respect to evaluation W, then the field of Puizu series over K is also p-adically closed. Puizu expansion of algebraic curves and functions. Algebraic curves let x be an algebraic curve given by an affine equation over an algebraically closed field k of characteristic zero, and consider a point p on x which we can assume to be. We also assume that x is not the coordinate axis x equals zero. Then a Puizu expansion of x at p is a Puizu series f having positive valuation such that, more precisely, let us define the branches of x at p to be the points q of the normalization y of x which map to p. For each such q, there is a local coordinate t of y at q such that the coordinates x and y can be expressed as formal power series of t, say and then there is a unique Puizu series of the form such that this is a Puizu expansion of x at p which is said to be associated to the branch given by q. And each Puizu expansion of x at p is given in this manner for a unique branch of x at p. This existence of a formal parametrization of the branches of an algebraic curve or function is also referred to as Puizu's theorem. It has arguably the same mathematical content as the fact that the field of Puizu series is algebraically closed and is a historically more accurate description of the original author statement. For example, the curve has two branches at the double point, corresponding to the points t equals plus 1 and t equals minus 1 on the normalization, whose Puizu expansions are in respectively. At the smooth point, it has a single branch, given by the Puizu expansion. The curve, on the other hand, has a single branch at the cusp point, whose Puizu expansion is analytic convergence when, i.e., the field of complex numbers, the Puizu expansion of an algebraic curve is convergent in the sense that for a given choice of nth root of x, they converge for small enough, hence define an analytic parametrization of each branch of x in the neighborhood of p. Generalization The field of Puizu series is not complete, but its completion can be easily described. It is the field of formal expressions of the form, where the support of the coefficients is the range of an increasing sequence of rational numbers that either is finite or tends to plus infinity. In other words, such series admit exponents of unbounded denominators. 
provided there are finitely many terms of exponent less than a for any given bound a, for example, is not a Puizu series, but it is the limit of a Cauchy sequence of Puizu series. However, even this completion is still not maximally complete, in the sense that it admits non-trivial extensions which are valued fields having the same value group and residue field, hence the opportunity of completing it even more. Hahn series are a further generalization of Puizu series, introduced by Hans Hahn, where instead of requiring the exponents to have bounded denominator they are required to form a well-ordered subset of the value group. These were later further generalized by Anatoly Malt 7 Bernhard Newman to a non-commutative setting, using Hahn series. It is possible to give a description of the algebraic closure of the field of power series in positive characteristic which is somewhat analogous to the field of Puizu series.